We're here live at Yangaroo headquarters, and we're lucky oh. enough today to have Mr. Steve Strongman, Canadian blues legend. And before we bore you with words and talking and stuff, Steve's gonna play a song. Love. I'm gonna ask for forgiveness, no more standing around. I'm all by myself, I need a little help, there's no one else around. There's no one else around. No more feeling sorry, no more feeling blue. Well, I woke today, I'm arrow straight, I'm coming looking for you, and I'm coming looking for you. Love, love, love's gonna wash over me. So, um, we've had a number of artists come through here and do little features. You're the first blues artist that we've had. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, how long have you been playing the blues? Well, I, uh, I've been, been playing guitar since I was 10 years old, so that's a very long time. But I, I fell in love with blues basically when I was around like 16, 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was in Kitchener where I'm originally born and raised. And uh, I snuck up the fire escape to go and see this amazing, amazing blues artist. One of the main guys there was a guy named Mel Brown, and he really uh, took me under his wing and he really influenced me a lot. He's just an incredible artist. And I fell in love with blues, you know, by listening to bands like Led Zeppelin and classic rock bands that were really just all blues bands. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, sort of what introduced me mostly to it. And then I started digging deeper and deeper right. and deeper. And so you took a little bit of an indirect route. You, you, yeah. you, you started with the, you know, the great rock and roll bands like so many others do, but you... Like you said, you followed that a little bit deeper to look at the, the roots, the foundation of, of that music that yeah. was so awesome and where it came from. Exactly. You know, especially like I always talk about a band like Led Zeppelin because I was like, I love Led Zeppelin. They're so amazing. And of course they are. But then mm -hmm. you realize, wait a minute, look at where they're getting all this stuff. And then you go and check out all the original artists. And mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many to mention now. It's, yeah. And I've had, you know, the great opportunity of opening up and meeting some of them too, like B.B. King. I, Played with BB King and Buddy Guy and Johnny Winter and Joe Cocker. 
So when I get a chance to meet all these people, and uh, it's it's a pretty incredible thing. It's a very cool thing. That's amazing. Legends. Yeah, absolutely. Legends. legends. Absolutely. So so where did you get to, to share the stage with with like BB King and, and, and Buddy Guy and the likes? Well, BB King, I played with him. Uh, I played with him in Kitchener at Center and Square. I opened up for for BB King. And Buddy Guy played with like six times. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Joe Cocker was also in Hamilton, I opened for him there. And uh, Johnny Winter was open for him in Barry. So mm. it's, yeah, it's, you know, sort of got these opportunities along the way to meet the heroes, the guys, which is pretty cool. So you're quite an accomplished musician. Thank you. Um, award winner, Maple Blues, multiple Maple Blues award winner. Yeah. Including Guitarist of the Year, mm -hmm. Album of the Year. Um, you've also won a Juno. Yep. For Blues Recording of the Year. Blues Recording of That's the Year. That's right. And, yeah. and been nominated uh, before as well. Yes. This is uh, my third nomination this year, actually. Yes. Which and and the cool. upcoming Junos next weekend in Vancouver. This weekend. This weekend in Vancouver. Yeah. That's in right. Vancouver. Yeah. I'm heading out there on Friday. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'm heading out on Thursday. Cool. I'm playing a show in Vancouver Friday night at oh, the, the Juno Fest. I'm doing Juno Fest. Got my wrist bandage. Check it out. I hope so. Come yeah. By. So that's a good plug. That's a good yeah. Plug. What, what venue? Our, what venue is it at? At the Yale. At the Yale. Yeah. Okay. I'll remember that. Yeah. Friday night at the Yale. All right. Hopefully we can have a beer. Yeah. All right. Steve likes beer, everyone. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. So so this is your third nomination coming up. Yeah. And uh, you've got some some stiff competition. I do. Yeah. Who who else is nominated in the in the category? In the category, I've got uh, my good friends that are in Downchild, Downchild Blues mm -hmm. Band, uh, Monkey Junk. Big Dave McLean, who's mm -hmm. awesome. Last time I was through Winnipeg, Big Dave treated me like family, for goodness sake. He's such a great guy. And also a brand new trio, which is uh, William, Wayne, and Isaac. And uh, I haven't heard their stuff, but I know Kenny Blues Boss Wayne. Um, he's a great performer, so I, I look forward to hearing their stuff. I, I haven't heard it yet, but uh, congratulations to all the nominees. So mm -hmm. I kind of feel like it's it's uh, a good position to be in. So, you know, if. If I don't win, one of my friends is going to win, and if right. I win, then that's pretty fantastic. Even, even better, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. They got to be happy for you, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that that is awesome. Definitely awesome. Yeah. Um, so in in Canada, uh, where can people go? People that that are into the blues or looking to be exposed to more blues music and artists, like where where where's the best place for them to find it? Well, I, I mean, I would say once you find an artist that you're into, just try and you know stay up to date on what's mm -hmm. happening through social media with them certainly for me if they go to stevestrongman.com they can find everything they need there all my all my touring dates are always updated on there mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's you know at this point I think the most important thing that people can do that especially if you're into blues quote unquote music mm -hmm. live music is to go out to shows and that's that's the most important thing because you know let's face it you know, with, record sales aren't what they used to be, we'll just put it at that, and it's mm -hmm. a different kind of thing, and people have other ways to go and, and support the artist, and one of those things, certainly for a touring artist like myself, is selling tickets, and uh, getting to have that you know, interaction and mm -hmm. emotional connection with a live mm -hmm. audience. That's right. the most important thing. So, so get out to your local venues, yeah. support the artists, enjoy the music. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and buy tickets to the big festivals. There you go. Right? Yeah. Just Audible. go and support live music. Cause mm -hmm. I say this every time, I try and say it every time I, I perform live, there's nothing really like being in the room with live music. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a very cool thing, you know, so it, it's, uh, and that's what we all need as, as touring professional musicians, that's, that's how we're making a living, so get out there and buy some tickets to the show. Sounds great. Yeah, man. Yeah. Great, so, um, could you play another song? I'm going to play another song. Love it.
got to go to the old school. So I got my education. I had some time with the best. Time I get down, I got to go to the old sound. When I feel I'm going to lose, I got to play some dirty blues. People always talking about the old sound. Try to light it up or watch it all burn down. Everybody looking for the next craze. Won't you take me back to the old school days? to go to the old Anytime, whenever you're coming through, coming through the Toronto. Area. I will take you up on it. Absolutely. Right. Thanks to our viewers out there. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.